If you caught last week's video, you'll know that my training has had a little bit of a hiccup. I've not run now for about a week and a half uh, after experiencing a little bit of a calf, stroke ankle, stroke Achilles, stroke 50 year old bloke, dodgy leg, pain, injury, whatever we're gonna call it, it stopped me running for about a week and a half. Um, and I went out last week to try and test it out after a week's rest, got a quarter of a mile down the road, called it quits, wasn't being stupid, pain was still there, it obviously needed a little bit more rest. I've now um, had an additional, what? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days rest, that's quick maths, um, and it's feeling a lot better. I've now not had any pain going up downstairs, walking, doing regular activity for the last couple of days, and I think it's about time that I get out and give it a little bit of a try again. I'm supposed to have 7.2 miles um, in my plan. I'm not going to be doing 7.2 miles because the, 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 the session is actually an interval session. Stupid to even consider doing that. I'm going to go out and try and do another 5K. Nice, slow, easy. Test out if the ankle, stroke, calf, stroke, Achilles, the leg. Check out if the leg is okay. And if it is, we can then look towards Friday for session two of this week and push that out to maybe seven or eight miles. And then Sunday, it is a down week, by the way. Um, and then Sunday, I'm supposed to be racing the Wilmslow half. Now, let's caveat that. If today goes well, we'll move to Friday. If Friday goes well, then I'll consider racing on a Sunday. What we'll get from the race, I don't know. Um, before all this started and I booked onto the Wilmslow, I was going to be smashing the Wilmslow to try and get a PB. Now, um, I ran the Wrexham Village Bakery half um, in February and managed to knock out a 144, a massive four minute PB, which is testament of my training going really well at the moment. And I was hoping that from February's race up until March's race, there'll be a bucket load of additional quality training in and I could really go for that kind of 141 mark. I've not ran for a week and a half. That's probably not going to be doable. It might be that Sunday turns into just a training run. But I know once I get there and get my race shoes on, if my ankle's okay, I'm going to go for it anyway. But we'll see. Two sessions in the books before Sunday. Now, flip side of that is if today goes crap, we won't be running Friday or we won't be racing Sunday. If today goes good and Friday goes crap, we're still not going to be racing on Sunday. So, baby steps. Shoes on, out the door, easy 5k, and fingers crossed that this goes okay. Because if it doesn't, London Marathon is in question. thing is I've got further than I did last time now it's not 100% gone because I can feel it in the bottom of my ankle but we'll see how we go we'll carry on because it's not really bad As you can see, I'm walking again. We've got one and a half miles in. And it's painful. I can carry on. I can honestly carry on. But I think I'll do myself more damage than good. I'm not gonna gain anything by running another mile or a mile and a half to get to three miles just because I said I'm gonna go and run three miles. All I'm gonna do I just felt my nose. <coughs> that was gross. Yeah, all I'm gonna do is just potentially injure myself more than, it definitely has got better because I went out last Tuesday, Thursday, well, one day last week, 
and I got 0.25 miles and the pain was there. This week, I got one and a half miles and I could have got to three miles, but I can feel the pain. Now, I'm coming to a downhill section. So I think I'm just gonna have a little bit of a, let's start the watch. So I am just gonna have a little bit of a jog. No, no, I can feel it straight away again now. Oh. It definitely ain't right. So I think the right, nope, that's definitely not right. Oh, man, honestly, I thought I've been pain free for the last two days. I honestly thought it'd be okay. I'm gonna walk home. I'm gonna get a case of beer. I'm gonna get drunk. No, I'm not. I'm gonna rest it for a little bit more. Unfortunately, I do think this means that I am gonna have to take another week off. So I won't be racing at Wilmslow, unfortunately. But eyes on the prize, I'll give it one more week. And then if I can't get back into full, full on marathon training, then that will call London into question, I'm afraid. Hello everybody and welcome back to Matt's rehabilitation program. Because that's what it feels like at the moment. It just feels like rehabilitation from old man legs. It's four o'clock on Friday, the 20, whatever. I don't even know what date it is, to be honest. 20 second, I think it's the 22nd of March. I ran Tuesday, so three days ago. And as you saw, just nothing wanted to play ball. But since then, I've been 100% pain free. I've done a lot of time on my feet for work. Been running up and down stairs, jumping off this, that and the other. Long drives down to events that I've been at. Yes, all in three days. And I've been zero, I've had zero pain. This has to mean that I can go out and do a run pain free, right? Please, do you not agree? I, it has to. So, this is now going to be the third time I'm going to attempt just an easy 5k and see where we get to. The first time I got 0.25 miles down the road. The second time I got one and a half miles, well 1.6 miles. Will I get round the 5k? One thing to point out is I'm definitely 100% not racing Wilmslow half on Sunday. I think I would be an idiot to go and race because no matter what I think in my head, as soon as I strap a race number on, I'm just gonna go for it. And not training for a couple of weeks because of an ankle injury definitely means that I should not be racing. This weekend is probably not going to be a 19 mile long run. I can't see that happening. But if I get around 5k today and it's pain free and I'm working all day tomorrow and if that's pain free, I don't see any reason why I can't just go out, put my shoes on and see how far I get and just try and get a long, decent, easy, easy, super slow, easy pace long running. So we'll see how today goes. And we are off. It's sunny. Got to wear my glasses today. Love it. Let's see how this goes then, shall we? So the plan will be today to just try and get round. 5k, nice and easy, and I mean super easy. A bit bloody windy but I don't mind just nice to be out running again so it started off okay I feel a little bit of a twinge in the bottom of my ankle but I'm trying not to overthink it let's hope I got, I'm wearing my glasses today the sun's out it's actually we've got blue sky much nicer running when the weather's better and the clocks go back this weekend so 
a lot more light in the in the day to get our runs done. So slowly moving away from the winter months, which is always nice. We are coming up to, what are we in? 1.4 miles, not far off where I stopped yesterday, uh, Tuesday. Sorry about the noise, we're right next to a road, but I can feel it. It just feels like a tightening of my muscle, like all cramp. Not as bad as it was on Tuesday, but I definitely can feel it. I'm gonna carry on because I've got a nice downhill all the way home and see if that makes it any better but it doesn't feel like I need to stop at the moment I mean I am running really slow which is what I said I was going to do and probably was the best idea so we'll see well we've managed 2 miles 2.19 miles um, it is I don't actually know what it is it's like I don't actually know what it is it just feels like a really big tightening of my my muscle and now I'm getting pins and needles shooting down into my heel um, it felt fine for the first half mile and then this is why I thought it was cramp because it just it felt like my calf was just really tightening up and that's why I kind of originally stopped and stretched it out and that's what I thought it was I thought it was cramp but it obviously it's not cramp um, it's it's dying off again now and I'm, I'm walking okay pins and needles have stopped into my heel like I'm, I can I feel like I can run again I just don't know what it is but it's definitely not right and I'm actually trying to run again I've got this little downhill and I'm going to finish the run off, probably get to about two and a half miles uh, and then I'm stopping. I am going to come out Sunday again and try again but I don't know, I feel like I'm constantly moaning at the camera my videos must be really boring to watch but anyway the trials and tribulations of marathon training when you're 50 <laughs> Now I know there's plenty of fit 50 people, 50 year old people out there that don't get these problems, but I've just found I get more and more body issues the older I get, so. But anyway, one positive is, it is better than last time. I have got to 2.5 miles. So we're making improvements every time we come out, despite, the ankle, calf, whatever it is, because I really don't know, still being a problem. I can definitely feel it again. Again, it just, I feel like I broke a record, but it just feels like cramp. So I'm just coming up this little hill, then I'm going to stop, get home, ice it, relax it tomorrow, see what we can get done on Sunday. So I'll catch up with you on Sunday. Well, it is Sunday and we're out again to try the ankle, leg, just basically trying to run to see how we are. Now, as you've seen from um, the video earlier, I went out twice this week to try and give it a go to see where we are after not really running the week before. Um, and the last run I had, I managed to get two and a half miles, which was better than the time before that. I got 1.6 miles before that. So hopefully we're gonna see some progression today. Again, I'm walking around completely pain-free, so, um, I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit better today but before I go out and do that I thought I'd get a bit of a reality check going on so um, this is supposed to be the end of week 12 now week 12 on my runner plan 16 week plan was a down week um, I had three sessions to do um, a 4.2 mile progression run a uh, five mile easy and then 8.7 mile um, easy run. Now, I was supposed to be racing Wilmslow half today. Obviously, that's been canned because not even worth the um, the attempt at trying to run and do myself even more injury. 
So realistically, we've got um, week 13, 14, 15, race week, four weeks. Now normally we'd be tapering for two of those weeks because I've missed two weeks worth of training and the maximum long run I've done is 16 miles. We're probably gonna maybe skip that to a week taper, which is probably a mistake, but I need to get some long runs in. Um, so if everything goes right today, I'm gonna attempt to get back on with the plan, which would mean I've got three sessions next week, a 6.8 mile tempo, um, a 6.2 mile easy, and then 20 mile long run. So I'm gonna have to assess how it is to see if I can really do those kind of miles. And I've gotta go away for work Wednesday and Thursday, so the likelihood is I will run Tuesday and I'll just make all the runs, easy runs this uh, this coming week. We then move into week 14 and the long run then is uh, drops down to 11 because we're supposed to be tapering. But I um, if I manage to get a long run done next Sunday, so a week today, I will push that out and do 21 miles on that Sunday. I'll then have week 15 where we're slowly starting to slow down and I'll, I'll drop my Sunday long run down to about 11. Um, and then the following Sunday is race day. So that's the reality of where we are. I've had 10 weeks worth of pretty good solid training that I've been really happy with. The last two weeks have been utter crap and I've done virtually no miles at all. Um, it's a blip, we can still make London. I'm still gonna go out and try. The big thing is gonna be how today goes. If it goes awful, then I will try and give it a go again next week. But if we come to next week and the end of next week and I'm still running in pain, then unfortunately I think that's probably gonna be the end of my London Marathon. Time to get trainers on and get out and see how today's run go. under a mile into this run and so far so good taking it really easy uh, but so far it's feeling okay so I'm gonna get a couple of miles into the run and then I'll give you a bit of an update see where we are fingers crossed guys it's it's promising man it's promising I'm still going normally when I am halfway through these runs I'm starting the camera saying that I'm walking but no I'm still going, come on, 2.3 miles in, hunky dory, not an ounce of pain anywhere, touch wood, I'm not going to hex myself for saying that, but I'm opting just to do four miles today, so I can get through a run for the first time in two weeks and say it was pain free, and really look forward with a positive mental attitude to next week's training, but so far so good. This is what I wanted to happen. And it's all good. Let's get this run done. And in the bank, and a happy mat. I've not been silly. I've just decided to do my regular like three and a half mile route because I'd more rather do three and a half miles um, pain free than get halfway around and go let's go and run 10 miles and be back to where I was before so so let's just start the watch and all we've got to do we're going to run down a hill and then up a little bit of another hill to finish and then that will be week finished, video finished, and hopefully the start of some better content as we start to get to closer to the April the 21st and London Marathon. There we go. I've not even. I've just. I've just come straight in, and 
I've just come straight in and I wanted to finish this video off now. Now, so I'm still holding my camera and it's not on tripod, so sorry if it's shaking around. Success at last. After two weeks of, uh, after two weeks of injury and trying and failing and trying and failing, I've managed three and a half miles, completely pain free. Um, so 3.45 miles, average pace 908, which is my marathon pace. Um, what was my average heart rate? It was probably higher than it should be. Yeah, average heart rate 142. I wasn't expecting it to be um, uh, my zone two heart rate, to be honest with you, not considering I haven't ran for a couple of weeks. I could have probably run that a bit slower and I should have run that a bit slower. But right now I don't really care because um, I'm back in after running three and a half miles and feel like I'm back on track. Uh, so yeah, super happy. Um, didn't even feel a niggle. Like when I went out on Friday, I got to about two miles in and I could feel that burning, like that cramp sensation in my back of my calf. Um, nothing, absolutely nothing. One niggle I still have got, and I was hoping it was kind of gonna go after um, a couple of weeks of not doing much mileage. My hamstring on the right hand side, right up to my butt cheek, is still a little bit, still got a bit of discomfort in there. So um, I don't know. Now, have I done anything different over the last couple of weeks than I normally do? Yes, I've I've been activating and warming up before every single run, um, which I normally don't do. I normally just go out and run. Um, even if I'm doing speed sessions, I, I'm generally just doing a warm-up jog first and then going into the session. And I don't ever do warm-up drills. Um, since having that injury, I've done warm-up drills before every single run for the last two weeks. Don't get me wrong, I've only done sort of three or four runs, but I've warmed up properly. Uh, so that's the only thing I'm doing different. And if I'm completely honest, I'm now gonna kind of bring that into my routine for every single run. I'm gonna warm myself up properly. Um, it can't be a bad thing. Looking forward, as I said before I went out for the run, I've still got four weeks worth of training. I still believe I can hit London. Am I gonna get that sub four? Well, I've missed two weeks worth of training. I've missed two long runs. I've missed a 19 and a 21 mile long run. I've got my fingers crossed. I will put everything I can into it. Um, and I'm just gonna end today's video now, I think, on a high. If you've made it this far, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. You either like my content or you like me. Um, whatever way, please hit that subscribe button, tap that bell icon. I try and release videos every single week. Um, and I'll be releasing more content on the run to uh, the marathon. And then obviously I've got Valencia Marathon in December, which I'll be doing a whole bunch of content for too. Um, give me a thumbs up, hit like on this video. It's great. If you would do that for me, it um, helps other runners find my content on YouTube. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around to the end. Um, I'm glad this week has ended on a little bit more of a positive note. And hopefully next week we will hit the week's training on a high. Until then, take care of yourself. I'll see you next week.